Yeah, I was asked a couple of days ago, will having an MCT coffee in the morning break my fast? Obviously, if you're doing maybe an 18.6 or a, a 24. Um, and obviously, we're aiming at spending our time in ketosis, predominantly our time in ketosis. So um, I haven't tested, so I've been out for a run, so yes, my ketosis. I was going to say, you might want to explain to YouTube why... You look a bit... Oh yeah, no, I've just... Oh, sorry, another camera now. Uh, yeah, so I've, I've just come back from 10 miles. Um, it's 11.18 uh, on... What day is it? Uh, it's a Thursday. It's Thursday. 21 degrees in right. here. Yep, yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, hotter it's hotter out there. It's hotter out there in, with the, in sun. the sun. Yeah. Um, I would have loved for it to be 21 degrees. Yeah. But anyway, I actually, actually quite enjoyed that run. Um, Maybe I need to get myself a pair of sunglasses. I um, yeah, I, I, I um, running out in that bright sunshine, you get a headache because you're constantly squinting. Well, so. you know what I did do is I listened to episode one of our podcast. Oh, did you? Whilst we were out, because yeah. I wanted to test it in the headphones. Right. Okay. Well, and it's good. Yeah. I was really? actually I was actually a little bit loud at some point, so I will fix right. that for. Yeah, well, you do episode. tend to shout at people. I don't tend to shout at people. I only uh, shout right. at you. And okay. The Fargies. So, doing something wrong. Um, so yes, uh, all I've had this morning is coffee before I went for a run. Uh, there you go, bloods of six. I thought that um, was ketones then. No, no, Jesus. No, bloods of six. Um, so that's normal after exercise? It's normal after exercise. Actually, it's a little bit higher for me than normal, uh, really. But I a little bit, but... Five, five point four, something like that. And as you um, said, this was a faster run than normal. Yeah, it was a faster run. There was, um, I'm sure the effort that went into this was quite high. 1.8. Ketones were 1.8, so not too bad. Um, uh, I generally sort of get close to twos after a after a run. Um, so I'm going to do the the bulletproof uh, in my uh, bulletproof. I'm going to do my MCT coffee in here because if you and I don't mind this. I honestly it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, cool, you're not going for the posh stuff. No, I can't if I because I'm popping out later, so I'm, oh, yeah. I'm going to have a coffee later. Uh, I'm not going to put boiling water straight in that because otherwise it might just explode. So I'm going to have... Hi Lauren. I'm going to have 15... Hello Lauren. I'm going to have 15 mils of this, which is a big shot. So if you are just starting out and using MCT, please, please, only have 5 mils. And do not leave the house. And don't leave the house if it's your first time, okay? So 5 mils, see how you feel and you can always build up. Um, I, I, actually, I'm not sure what they say is the standard portion on the back on the, the bottle. Uh, ten. A ten. Right. Okay. So, but I'll go for fifteen because a lot of people put a tablespoon in. That's right, ten. Oh, also, can you just show the brand of the one you're using? Yeah. So this isn't so, sponsorship. Uh, no, or whatever. Yeah, no sponsorship. No. I mean, it's just something that I found on on eBay at eBay on Amazon. They were doing two bottles for I think twenty quid. I haven't done the comparisons with other with other brands so you know it's difficult this is c8 which is the sort of like the purest form do you have an mct oil daily no no don't have it daily this is just a one-off it's uh, not necessary yeah not necessary I, i'm just doing it because somebody asked normally if i would, if i came home now i would have a coffee but i might put a little bit of butter in it um right so i would be quite happy just drinking it like that so the oil's not exactly emulsified and it will come sitting at the top. I'll even just stir it in the, the coffee and it'll just layer on top. However, if you, it's your first time, you probably want to blitz it. And make it into a frothy coffee. Looks just like the bulletproof. Yeah. There you go. An hour ago I came on and I did a blood and ketone test because I've been out running. Um, and I've had a coffee with MCT oil. So my bloods were six. Um, and my ketones were 1.8. So. Just thought I'd just take all walk past <laughs> My bloods are down to 4.3, which is normal. Ketones have gone up 2.1. Um, so, they, and they've gone up, actually, uh, that's a reasonable jump from 1.8 to sort of uh, 2.1. Yeah, so a 0.3 jump. It's actually quite a, a decent jump. And um, considering your ketones will be coming down should be. from the run. Effectively, my so ketones should be sort of slightly, slowly coming down now because my activity level in the last hour has been, I've had a shower. Um, and that's about it. I did this test yesterday after exercise, which was uh, me drinking uh, a coffee with... MCT oil 
And quite obviously, I need to do the test when I'm not exercising. And thankfully, I'm not, because it's hot out there. You can hear the dog panting in the background, I apologise. He stood in front of the fan. <laughs> oh. Bloods first. Hey, Louis, people are asking where you were. Yeah, that's right. We um, the released the podcast episode yesterday and we were talking about you and Arjun and they were like, where's Louis? Right, so Bloods are 3.9, yeah. 0 0.7, there you go. So that's pretty normal for a morning um, of no exercise, 0 0.7. So 4.2, Bloods are normal. Oh, what, what is it? Wow. That's a hell of a jump. That's I've, almost, that's I've almost done, double. I've done nothing. I've been sat down on a phone call. There you go. MCT test done. Mm. Um, do you know what? Test, it, it, it'd be really interesting to see what other people's test results are. Thank you very much. Speak to you later. Bye.